I won't be jumping. Uh, I won't be explaining the whole of it because it is more of an advancement over advantage actor critique method that I've already discussed in detail in my previous algorithm. So you need to refer to that because it is a very lengthy, a, a bit difficult concept, and it will require some sort of an explanation at length, which I would wish to avoid in this particular video because I've already covered that. So uh, do read about a to C algorithm before jumping on to understanding proximal policy optimization. So I'm assuming that once you read that, you will come to know that A to C has a loss function minus one into summation of log probabilities into A T. So A T is the advantage term that we get and log probability is basically the probability of the action that has been taken. Right. Now here you can see the advantage term as well. Reward plus gamma into value function for future state minus value function for the current state. Now value function that we're getting is from the value network. That is the critique network and the reward that we are getting and the log probability that I have mentioned in this particular formula probability for the action we are getting from the actor network. So uh, advantage actor to critique involves two networks, eight, uh, actor and critique. You just go in through that video or through that blog for a better understanding. Now in case of proximal policy optimiz uh, optimization, what we are doing is that we are changing this particular loss function. So instead of using this particular loss function minus one into summation log probability into AT, what we are doing is we are using this particular loss function minimum r into at comma clip r comma one minus e plus one plus e into at. So we are trying to take the minimum of the two entities r into at or the clipped version of r into at. So why uh, PPO is used because in case of advantage actor to critique it is believed that as we are not making any upper and lower bound it can be the case that the training can become a bit unstable because of large updates happening into the model. So we need to clip the updates. We need to clip the updates so that the convergence is smooth, proving the stability while training. We're trying to clip the update amount that can happen into the model weights. So in case of advantage actor to critique, this can uh, this can be big um, this can be big term, and hence updates can be very big. So it can be the case that the weights might be oscillating uh, oscillating at a very high amplitude. But in case of PPO loss, as you're clipping R. So as you can see that when you're clipping R, we are trying to make it in the range of one minus E or one plus E. It can't cross these ranges where E is 0.2 according to the paper and R equals to probability of taking an action A in state S with current network upon policy of taking an action A in state S with the last network policy basically is the network that I'm talking about current policy network is the actor model. You would get it right. So, um, what do you mean by last policy and current policy? Last policy means that before the updates, before updating the weights, what was the network? We need to take consider that probability and the current probability that we are getting from the updated network. That that forms our R. AT remains the same. Reward in reward plus gamma value function uh, value function future state minus value function current state, and E is basically a constant that has been set up as 0.2 in the model. So with this particular loss function, the training is more smoother 